What's going on, everybody? It's Davey from the 80s, and you're now entering the Cinema Chop Shop, so park your ass right there. And while you're there, don't forget to hit the like, the share, and the subscribe button. Also, if you check the link below, you see a Patreon account. You click it, you become a member. All you got to do is try recommend movies and music and trailers for me to react to. So click the link. Now, with that being said, today we are here to review the whole Netflix series, Archive 81. This is produced by James Wan and his band of misfits and uh it's based off of a long-running very successful podcast that shares the same name uh is starring mamadou athy i think that's his name uh i i was looking at this episode and me and my wife was like i, I know i've seen this dude from somewhere and he's from um patty cakes which is also a terrific movie uh that i enjoy um but the show is about a young man named dan who is a film restorer so he finds like classic film and damaged goods and things like that, lost footage, and he ends up restoring the film reels and then bringing them back to their intended use. Uh, he converts them digitally, things like that. It, he's just a film restorer, right? And what ends up happening is he gets this job, uh, and also his past is rooted in tragedy. Uh, he gets this job by this company. He ends up going to like this isolated place where he's um, restoring these uh, these reels. And basically, as he's working there, he's like unraveling this dark story, not only about what's happening in these tapes, but also it, it, it ends up tying into his own life as well. Uh, it takes some twists and turns into a downward spiral. And then we have what is Archive 81. I don't really want to get into too much of the particulars about what the show is about, uh, because I want you guys to be sort of surprised but I'm just going to warn you right now that this slow, this show is a very, very slow burn. And what I mean by very, very slow burn, I mean very, very slow. Uh, although the cast is pretty good, um, I, I feel like the, the show tries to play a lot on atmospheric horror. So setting the scene is not really like a jump scare type movie. Uh, it's, it's really a lot of like atmospheric horror uh, sounds, chants music uh settings like those things are the things that are trying to get you afraid but if you're somebody that dabbles in horror like myself you're not going to find it very intimidating uh whatsoever um uh this show is about eight episodes and honestly i feel like eight episodes was probably too many uh the reason why is because it feels like it's kind of stretched out a little bit longer than what it should be the show ends on kind of a cliffhanger so it's kind of like uh, throwing out the olive branch for a possible season two. Uh, I feel like also, I feel like the conclusion that they came up with or the, the final episode, I feel like it was kind of lackluster and kind of empty and it kind of didn't really, it didn't really do anything for me. And all it really did was kind of like, it just switched the situation around. So it was like next season is going to be the absolute same thing, just on the other side of the rainbow. Um, so I don't, I didn't really see much originality in that. Um, I was really hyped about the show because it was being talked about and people were talking about how they watched it and got sucked into it and da 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 and I'm just like, okay, well, this show's based off of a very, very successful podcast uh, and not too many things uh, get taken off the internet and made into full-length movies. A few of them that I can think of is Lights Out, uh, also Slenderman, and there's another one floating out there that just is off of my brain right now. But anyway... um. I went into the show just it feels like it, this really reminded me like Lovecraft County because while I'm watching the show I'm, I have a lot of expectations for the show the cast is really good but at the same time it just didn't deliver uh, although it wasn't as bad as Lovecraft County I feel like this show did a very bad job at trying to deliver what it was trying to sell like you know you kind of watch the show and it takes a really long time to kind of tell you what you already know um and it's kind of weird when you're watching them it's really weird when it's like they're they're really just telling you what the damn show is about they're really just telling you what's behind this whole thing it's just like you're kind of sitting there and just like all right say what we already know so that we can already move on from this point but it's just like you have all these characters playing fucking stupid and then you have all of these uh these leads that end up being dead ends and it was just like what's the point of doing this and just kind of like retelling the same incident over and over and over and over and over again, right? Um, it also gets to the point where you're kind of like looking at the main cast or the main character and you're just like, logically, 
this doesn't really make sense because somebody placed in the situation in realistic time, uh, I think they will be kind of weirded out by the situation, no matter how much of an interest that you have in uh, learning about maybe your history or your past or anything like that. Would you continue to go down this rabbit hole, Alice? Um, I just didn't really see the logic behind the TV show. Um, although, it's like I said, it's a cool concept. Nothing super fucking original. I mean, there's like... I could think of like three different things that's similar to it. Uh, I mean, maybe not done exactly in that fashion, but the the concept behind the story has been told before. Uh, I can, like I said, I'm thinking I'm thinking of like three or four movies off the top of my head that did it better. Even a book that's did it better. So I don't know. Like watching it, I was hoping that maybe I would find something that would be a little bit more iconic horror wise because you know the horror genre is kind of missing that it's kind of it's been missing that iconic franchise or that iconic tv show like i i like the last show that i watched that i really enjoyed that was horror related was them you know and i was kind of skeptical about that because i'm like you know well them just like lovecraft country county i i went into it with high expectations like you know them had a very good cast and everything like that but the thing about them is it actually delivered you know at least 90% of the time. I mean, there was a couple of episodes that I was kind of like, yeah, with, but, and, and I, I mean, the, the finale was good, but it wasn't as great as I thought it would be, but that's, I have a review for that if you guys are interested in that anyway. Um, but back to Archive 81, I don't know. Maybe I feel like, maybe I should listen to the podcast and see if the podcast delivers it better. I mean, it, like, it was really cool watching it traveling back to 94, you know, and seeing like some 90s stuff going on. And it was real cool to watch somebody who was in love with film and in, in, in love with like cinema as myself. You know, it was really cool watching that stuff. But I mean, at the end of the day, it just felt, it felt really dragged out. Like it just didn't, it didn't deliver. Like there's a good show in there somewhere, but it was, it was missing something. And I have no idea off the top of my head what it was missing, but it's definitely missing something that could have probably took it over the top like i said that the cast is great the the soundtrack is cool the cinematography is cool the idea is cool it's just i don't know maybe the way they sold it maybe the way they pitched it maybe the way they delivered it i don't know i think it's something was done in this show that just didn't resonate with me like it became kind of a chore i'm gonna be honest with you i felt it was kind of a chore to finish this tv show like i committed to it I got about five, four episodes in, and I kind of was like, I truthfully and honestly could put this down and don't pick it back up again. I can give it the demonic treatment, uh, which is a movie that I started to watch, and like halfway through, I freaking gave up because I was like, yo, this shit is stupid, and I ended up watching something like King of the Hill. Like, I couldn't get through it, uh, but this TV show is definitely something that you're probably going to put down, and if you put it down and don't pick it back up, I won't, I'm not going to blame you. You know, it just didn't deliver with what I really thought it was going to be. And a lot of people hyped this show up. A lot of people was like, yo, you know, man, it's just, I couldn't put it down. Uh, a lot of people were like, the podcast is excellent. And I'm like, okay, so they have source material to work with. You know, they have a route to work with. So it's like, all you got to do is just make it, you know, make it work. But I, I feel like they just couldn't make it happen. So here in the Cinema Chop Shop, we grade TV shows and movies in three ways. Count it three ways. Either you get bodied and sent to the bowels of hell, and I tell you shit was trash, basura, all of that good shit. Or I tell you it's meh, meaning it was Masamino's, mediocre, mid-range, all that shit. Or I tell you the shit is spared, and I mean it's a great, check it out, I loved it, iconic shit. Uh, I'm going to have to give this show a big fat meh. Not, not quite my tempo. Not impressed. But it can be better. Oh, meh. But the TV gave me the impression that we said meh. M E H. Meh. Now the main reason I'm giving this show a meh is because truthfully, it's not a horrible show. It's not a bad show. It has a good a good idea, and the storyline is pretty cool. It's just done incorrectly i don't know it's something about the storyline that just couldn't capture me and like i said i'm into slow burn movies i'm into slow burn tv shows i'm into that stuff but your payoff gotta be worth it 
the end of the payoff and the shit didn't feel worth it. A lot of the things kind of felt unnecessary. They introduced things and really didn't touch on them. Uh, pick them back up again. So it's like, I don't know. It just, it just didn't do it for me. So if you guys choose to skip this, completely understand. If you guys choose to give up on the halfway, completely understand. It's not the greatest thing that I've seen. Horror-related. Uh, Netflix ain't been delivering, but it's all good, man. You know, net, I, that's why I dabble with Netflix's foreign department. It's a lot more reliable than its American-based shit. Um, that's my review. Let me know if you agree or disagree, whatever the case may be. Drop it in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Adios.